Another night of dreams They keep chewing on my sleep And spitting out my whole work week Every morning Bullard's Beach State Park is just a couple of miles north of the town of Bandon, Oregon. It's where the Coquille River meets the Pacific Ocean, and it's also where we recently stayed overnight to view the November King Tides in a yurt at Bullard's Beach Campground. The campground is set back about a mile from the beach and is far enough away to provide some protection from the endless offshore winds. Yurt camping, especially in winter, is very convenient. There is electricity, heat, and a bunk bed with a twin and a double bed and a futon couch that folds down into a double. Prices of the yurts vary, but a good rule of thumb is that it's about a third of the price of a hotel in one of the nearby beach towns. Like many of the Oregon State Parks, this one is open year-round with over a hundred full hookup trailer spots 82 tent spots with electricity and water, a horse camp, a first-come, first-served hiker and biker camp, and 13 yurts. The yurts must be reserved in advance, and at this park, for an extra fee, six of the yurts are pet-friendly. There is no cooking allowed in the yurts, but is making coffee cooking? I'm not sure, but for yurt stays, we always bring our coffee maker and our coffee stuff. I think coffee tastes better, camping especially on a cold morning with a start your day warming campfire going. Yurt C29 was the only yurt available for our schedule and because it hosts pets, I brought some cotton balls and some lavender oil to help with any pet smells in the yurt. I found the yurt to only faintly smell like dog. It looks like the state park provided air filter worked pretty good. I did set out one cotton ball with only a drop or two of lavender oil on it and after that everything was fine. Restrooms and showers can be found nearby in a separate building. Nighttime lighting is minimal, so remember a small flashlight to make it easier to find your way at night. In addition to packing your sleeping bag and pillow, remember to bring shower stuff, like shampoo and a towel, since no linens or soaps are provided by the park. Why are you sleeping in a graveyard? Did you like the way it felt? I've been showing all of my cards when you hoped that I wouldn't tell. And it goes one, two, three, they pray for me. I am working to get free. I eat my apologies. Cause I do not fit, I'm too big. The room is too small and I'm getting through with these walls. Sometimes we travel with our air mattress, so I put down the futon and set it up on it. And while it was a little precarious, it was much more comfortable than the green mattresses that are found in the yurt. The park does sell firewood bundles, and since it was a beautiful evening, we grabbed a couple and enjoyed a warm campfire just outside of the yurt. Cause I do not fit, I'm too big, the room is too small And I'm getting through with these walls, blew off the lid, marry the cars Cause all I wanna do is get lost, ooh, ooh. lost, ooh, ooh. all I wanna do is get lost, ooh. While we were in the area to watch the king tide waves at the nearby Shore Acres State Park, on the morning we left, we explored the historic Coquille River Lighthouse and the almost five mile long Bullard's Beach. It was another beautiful day on the Oregon coast, especially for late November. Another night of dreams, they keep chewing on my sleep and spitting out my whole work week. Every morning well, This city is a sea And it's under tow Grab me and drag me off Into the deep 
without a warning I'm longing for the silence Feel the lay my head Where the engines and the sirens Are no longer my debt And I can finally hear my conscience Listen close to what it says 